The problem in the Gulf of Mexico is there's this very complicated salt layer and it has a very different sound velocity such that the sound waves going through it just get shattered as they go through and all you see on the other side is just broken up mess. And so in the case of for waveform inversion with complicated salt, we did very, very extensive modeling. And what it said is you need data probably out to 20 to 30 kilometer offsets at frequencies of like one and a half to two hertz. Conventional seismic, we're not able to get the low frequency component of the source, the one to two hertz data, down through the subsurface because it gets overprinted by noise. We desperately need this low frequency source to really be able to see more in the subsurface. So basically we've done something about it in developing the WolfSpar technology. WolfSpar is a device that produces vibrations at a very, very low frequency. That allows us to send low frequency energy down through the subsurface all the way down to the interval we're interested in and back up again where we've got lines of ocean bed nodes which receive the waves coming back. So it's the long offsets and the low frequency together that are going to give us a much better view of what's going down at the reservoir level which is where the oil and gas is. Test one was will it function through a whole survey? The device ran flawlessly and the project reached execution at the end. So now that we have the data, we've got to show that it'll make a difference. And so as we pick up those nodes from the ocean bottom, we're going to be shipping the data to the High Performance Computing Center. We'll be reading it and we'll be running that full waveform inversion algorithm on that data to make sure that it does what we expect it to do. This is exciting. I mean, this is an industry first data set. No one has ever acquired a low frequency data set specifically for full waveform inversion for building velocity models. So the real power of what we've just demonstrated with this survey is that we now have the proof, not just of the concept, but the proof that you have a commercially viable source. We've solved a big problem in the marine world and we do really, really believe that it's going to give us a better image down in the reservoir. Mad Dog is a five billion barrel field. So having the best subsurface image possible is going to be really important for us to understand how the reservoir is connected and to make sure we put the wells in the best positions possible. If we can place our wells accurately, then we're going to get better wells that last longer and produce more oil over their lifetime. This technology is going to be super impactful for Gulf of Mexico. We can apply it on all of our fields and all of our prospects. Anywhere you have issues with the imaging, anywhere where you have you know, complex geology, this should help you figure it out. And, and fairly quickly. I guess it sets us apart because no one else out there in the industry has actually got this capability. I think we're probably only one of three or four oil companies in the world that could pull something like this off. And we're the only ones that did. 